Back home, the health ministry will set aside $8 million a year to help needy families pay for their children's treatment at public hospitals. The scheme, effective from March, is called Medifund Junior and is for those aged below 18. The KK Women's and Children's Hospital puts up on average 400 Medifund applications a month. 95% of these applications are usually successful. However, as Medifund is targeted at low-income families, the middle-income families are usually left out as they don't meet the criteria. Some of them, uh, even though they are from the middle-income families, some of the bills can be quite costly. So for these large bills, we are giving a hospital more flexibility in the Medifund, under the Medifund Junior, to be able to help these uh, middle-income families. Healthcare institutions will assess the out-of-pocket expenses by the needy families and their family resources before offering them assistance under this new fund. Needy children diagnosed with congenital or neonatal conditions before 1st of March will also be able to use the new fund to help defray costs. These include stays at the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit or NICU at KK Women's and Children's Hospital. Let's say average income may be about 4000 per month. If the bill is very high, let's say um, they stay in NICU and cost them about, uh, let's say, $20,000, $30,000. So we would be able to help them with, like, uh, uh, to cover some of the medical expenses for the NICU stay. The hospital's NICU, which also treats premature babies, will be expanded. Doctors at the KK Women's and Children's Hospital say that its neonatal intensive care unit is usually run at full capacity due to the rising number of admissions in the last few years. As such, the unit will undergo renovation and see its bed capacity rise from the current 24 to 40 in the next five years, making it the largest facility in the region.